So I practice uh, corporate litigation and Aboriginal law at Blakes in Vancouver. Um, I've done that since I pretty much since I started. Uh, the corporate litigation practice varies tremendously across all sort of commercial disputes. A lot of it has a public law angle to it. So there is a mix of municipal law, regulatory, environmental, and Aboriginal law. Um, the Aboriginal law I do is uh, now more negotiation than litigation. It started out um, when I started in 2000. We were acting more for First Nations. Um, now we act more for, uh, almost solely for industrial proponents of resource development in Western Canada. I try and get to the heart of the issue. Um, I understand the law swiftly. I work hard at uh, bringing uh, a focus on solutions so that we're not messing around with extraneous issues and uh, I have a lot of energy. So I've had the pleasure of having a lot of top-notch lawyers and uh, judges as mentors over the years, which has been really nice to be able to watch excellent people in action and learn from them. And the, I, I guess, I mean, you can learn a lot from different people. I would say that the most important thing is to focus, find the, find the issue on which either the case or the negotiation is going to turn, and solve it, and um, everything else can fall into place. Teamwork's essential to success at all levels. And so for the last little while I've been, for the last longish while I guess, I've been working on um, negotiating with First Nations on behalf of LNG Canada. Uh, they're the lead proponent in British Columbia of a liquefied natural gas facility in Kitimat, uh, on the northwest coast of British Columbia and uh, it's a multi-billion dollar project that would take years to build and operate for another 30 or more years, um, uh, bringing natural gas from British Columbia and Alberta to uh, the BC coast and eventually to Asia. Uh, that has required a massive team, um, both on the client side and on the Blake side, on the council side, so we've had um, people with expertise in commercial law, Aboriginal law, environmental law, real estate, finance, all kinds of things on the Blake side and also corresponding people, uh, procurement, employment, uh, commerce, negotiators, uh, lead um, and support people all the way through. And it's uh, been really interesting um, working to get everybody together to formulate the positions to um, bring it into language and build the relationship with the First Nations in a successful manner, which is going to be essential for the project. So I've always done pro bono. Uh, I've always done volunteer work um, since before university. Um, and so pro bono is, pro bono law is an extension of, of volunteer work in a, in a legal setting. Um, and I've sat on a bunch of boards um, and uh, I try to ensure that it has some meaning to me because otherwise there's not that much value to it to me. I mean, there can be received value, but not as much. I don't enjoy it as much unless there's something, uh, something personal. So um, right now I'm sitting on the board of a neighborhood house that's just down the road from me and they uh, offer kids programs and immigrant programs um, for people in our community and my kids went they were when went there when they were small so um, I'm happy to give back to um, organizations like that